Hello, this is Pastor Scott Cruz with The Deeper Rock, and today we are in 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 1 through 19. Read that on your own, but I want to draw attention to the very beginning. Therefore, since Christ suffered in his body, arm yourselves also with the same attitude, because uh, he who has suffered in the body is done with sin. As a result, he does not live the rest of his earthly life for human desire, but rather for the will of God. When you really get a hold of God, and you say, God, I want to be free of this sin, and you live for him, then you have really arrived. So many people have this idea, and Josh McDowell likes to say it this way, God is not a cosmic killjoy. He's not out to ruin your fun. But you were created for a purpose. And the attempts of the enemy, the plan of the enemy on your life, is to destroy the purpose of God in your life. And the way he does that, is by selfishly getting us to fall into temptation and take on those selfish desires. And then it just begins to destroy. And he whispers in our ear and he says, it's not going to hurt that much. It's not going to wreck that much. Nobody's going to know. It's not going to change anything in your life. What they don't know won't hurt them. What doesn't, you know, it, it, it doesn't hurt anybody else. It's, it's, it's just you. I want to tell you that is a lie from the pit of hell. Because if the enemy can come and he can get you to fall into temptation, he can put that weight on you, you will not be God's best for your life. Your God's best for your life is not to be walking around in shame. It's not to be walking around all beaten down. God's best for your life is that you would have your head up high, your shoulders back, and to be humble that we are desperately in need of a Savior, but confident in the fact that we are walking righteously for him. And so I want to encourage you today to draw near to God and he will draw near to you. To push away the things that the enemy would try to pull you down with and live for God. Not because God wants to ruin your fun, but because God has a life that is so full, so wonderful, so incredible. That if you fall short of his best for you, you're not going to get that life that he intends for you. It's not mad at you. He's not looking to hurt you, but he's looking to protect you. He's looking to give you all the blessings that he has for you. And when we do things our own way, we take that control away from God. We say, Lord, I don't trust you to take care of my sexual needs, so I'm going to go do it my way. God, I don't trust you to take care of my financial needs, so I'm going to handle my money my way. God, I, I don't trust you to handle my family the way that you want me to. I'm going to handle it the way I want to. And we take that control out of God's hands. Well, when we do that, we take God's ability to bless us out of his hands. And Because God is like, okay, I, I've given you a free will. You can do this however you want, Scott. But if you don't do it my way, you're not going to have my best for you. Now, it's one thing to think that when I don't have God's best for me, my life isn't as good. My money doesn't work as good. My relationships don't work as good. Nothing works as good. But you know what really kicks me in the teeth? Is that when I don't have God's best for my life, I'm not the best that I can be for Him. Jesus, help me to be what you want me to be. Do what you want me to do. Because people without you go to hell. If I'm not the best that I can be, this world is going to suffer because he has a plan for my life. He has a plan for your life, and it's a good plan. Only you can fulfill that plan. So I want to encourage you, implore you today to have God's best because you'll be happier and your world needs you. Lord bless you, and I hope to see you in church on Sunday.